Yo, check it out. Got the 24 foot bay boat. Pretty sunrise. Kind of a chilly spring morning. Had a cold front push through. But y'all, we're over here at the uh, super secret. No, just kidding. We're over here at Fort Morgan Fishing Pier and Boat Ramp. Such a great place to get out and get out onto the beautiful Mobile Bay. So my setup that I'm gonna primarily be throwing today is this Nomad Vertrex Vibe. This is the 110 size with some 40 pound fluorocarbon leader, a Star Plasma 2 eight foot heavy power rod and a Daiwa Saltis 5,000 size reel with 30 pound braid. So let's get out there and see if we can catch us some big fish today. Let's get on out. It's a little windy, a little chilly for late April, but in the south, you never know how the weather's gonna be even in the next hour sometimes. is actually a little bit prettier than I thought it was going to be. It's awesome. Water temps dropped. We're going to throw that Nomad around. See if anything's hanging around. These things are pretty big. They're really cool. Flame going. This one actually has usually a bunch of people in there. Right, there we go. See why they call it triple rig though? One, two, and then there's a third platform right over there. All right, let's get this little nomad out. Get a cast. Wanna let this joker sink? Probably should tighten that drag up. Yeah. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, it's a good one too. Mm, it's a nice one. You have to keep them away from that structure because they will take you in it very fast. Uh, here we go. Let's see if we can find out what it's going to be. Heck yeah, finally got something to pull on the line. Ooh. <laughs> oh man. It's a beautiful red snapper. Too bad it's going to be out of season. Wow. Y'all, that's a beautiful red snapper. Look at that on the Nomad Vertrex. Gonna get that out of them and let them go back. They're out of season, they're highly regulated even though they're pretty abundant, but here we go, buddy. Good thing is, it's very shallow water here compared to out deep. And most of these fish that you catch aren't gonna be bloated and bear trauma, so we can just let them go. Unless there's a big barracuda or shark hanging around, they'll survive pretty good. At least we got something to fight us back. <laughs> Let's get that lure back out there and see what else we can catch. Both red snapper will thin the heck out of you. They do hurt. So here we go, I'm gonna drop that back down. I'm just kind of jigging it in place. 55 foot right here. So here we go. Oh, and just like that, they freaking smack it. <laughs> on the fall majority of the time is when they're going to hit it uh, we really have to get them up fast so they don't get you stuck that's another big red man it sucks these things are out of season right now wow it would be nice to get a mangrove snapper they're out here as well but we got to let this joker go so but man that's a good one he would eat up good Okay, we got the hook out and let's get him back without getting poked too bad. There you go, buddy. You can see just like that, he swam right back down. Man, that's a good one. I don't want to catch too many of them because I can't keep them. I'm trying to weed through and see if a mangrove will come up and smack this lure as well. Or a jack, Spanish, king, ling. <laughs> but at least these are fun to catch. So here we go again. They hit it so aggressively, it's, it's incredibly fun throwing artificials. You don't have to get messy bringing bait out, and you can catch a little bit more quality fish. Mm, mm. Oh, wow. That's a hard fighter. Dang. It's kind of just like dead weight right now. Oh. Oh, I said that, they didn't start pulling back. What the heck is going on here? 
spinning in circles. Is it a trigger fish? Because they are open. What is that? Is that a pompano? Oh, no. It is a pompano. This one's a first for me. I catch a lot of pompano from the surf, but this is the first pompano I've caught out here on a gas platform. Now, these things are in the jack family, but they are the best tasting fish and actually one of the more pricier fish in the market. They only have to be 12 inches in Alabama. That's a nice keeper on the Nomad. That is awesome. This is a first for me catching one out here. It's not impossible. A lot of things live out here, but a pompano is usually in the surf and on the pier. That is awesome. He's gonna go in our cooler. At least we have something cool to take home. Heck yeah. I uh, would have never guessed I was gonna catch a pompano today. That'd be cool if there's more hanging down there. Well, let's drop this lure back down. That is, that is neat. Really neat. Never know what you're gonna catch. I say that all the time when you're saltwater fishing. You really never know. So I'm dropping this jig back down, or this lure, I should say. I'm treating it like a jig. See what else we're gonna hook up into. That's cool, what's up, buddy? What you doing? <laughs> hey, I got a little fishing partner. Just landed on my cutting board. That's fine, you can stay there. You wanna come home with me or are you chill or are you just chilling for a second? That's cool. Oh, you don't have to fly away. I don't mean to scare you. Here you go. Come on back. <laughs> That's funny. Now he's on the front deck. <laughs> That's neat. <laughs> Maybe he'll bring me some more good luck. Another fish. Wonder what this is going to be. Try to take it easy so as to not pull them hooks. It's not really pulling like a red snapper. Unless it's a smaller one. I don't know yet. Is it another pompano? Nope. It's a red snapper. Just not as big as the other ones were. That's why. Now everything I hook is going to be like, is it a pompano? Is it a pompano? <laughs> All right, ma'am. Get these out of you and we'll let you go free. There you go. <clears throat> wow. Something hit it with aggression. I mean, straight up smacked it. Mm. Now, we're in a stalemate here. Okay, I'm gaining some on him. <laughs> That's fun. Is that another red snapper? Yeah, it is. Man, too bad you can't keep him right now because that would be some good eats. Really good eats. Mm. That's a little bit bigger one. Man, what a nice fish. On the bird tracks, it's gonna be easy to get the hook out and let this one go. Too bad it has to go back. It's a pretty fish. He gone. Good pair of pliers helps and handle that fish as little as you can, especially if you're gonna release it, which we have to here in Alabama. The red snapper season is currently closed. All right, let's keep on fishing. Drop down a few more times. See what else we can pull up. All right, another nice fish. Bring them away from that structure. We'll reel up and see what he's gonna be. If it's a red snapper, I'm gonna switch to trolling. Yeah, it is. Man, they are pretty though, look at that. Very pretty fish. Quick and easy release. Let's tie on an X wrap and troll around for a little bit. Not a lick on the trolling lure. So we are going to head back over to Fort Morgan. At least I got to catch some fish. That's always fun, especially those hard fighting snapper. 
and then have that surprise catch of that pompano in the cooler that we're going to take home as well see you later triple rig be fishing here a lot in the summer the boat up mobile bay got rough today north wind picks up and it is nasty out here so i'm just kind of tacking i'm heading into it and then to get to the boat ramp i'm going to do a 180 with a following speed so i don't get soaked All right, boat's latched up. Let me show you what I use real quick. This isn't a sponsored video or anything, but it makes life really, really easy. Let me get off this boat roll. Like I said, this isn't sponsored, but I bought this with my own money, but this is a Drado. Since I load and launch the boat a lot by myself, and this boat's a lot heavier than my skiff was, it kinda, it's hard to winch it up a lot of times. So all you do is back in the trailer enough and drive it up and this clamp clamps that boat up in that bow eye i didn't have to do any modifications to my boat i just had to install this which took five minutes to install literally and so now no more winching i just clip that on and then put my safety latch on as always and that boat's locked and loaded without me having to do any type of manual labor to winch this heavy thing on it's a Drado product if you're interested in it it might be worth checking out like I said I bought that with my own money and uh, it's well worth it tie this boat up make sure it's good to go on the road and then I'll probably see you at another fishing spot or at the house Y'all, we just launched in beautiful Orange Beach, Alabama. Check this out. What a gorgeous spring day it is. It's not too busy, which is surprising, but then again, it is a weekday. Absolutely gorgeous. So I just picked up six dozen live shrimp from JM and I want to go out to the jetties and do some fishing. Oh yeah, beautiful day. Get it down. Walk it in. Alright. I think we should be able to play patrol motor right here and we'll be good y'all this is an easy rig i'm using today this is a simple carolina rig or fish finder rig however you want to call it this is a size four kail hook with yozuri 20 pound fluorocarbon leader i have about a foot and a half of it to a black barrel swivel and a three quarter ounce egg weight i like to go fairly light on the egg weight but still be able to keep my bait slowly rolling along the bottom because if you go too heavy you will get wedged between these rocks pretty easily. It'd be nice to bring in some pompano or redfish. We're going to take some sort of fish home today. I can feel it. But I like to hook my shrimp right where that horn meets the body. Go side to side with the hook. And there we go. We're ready to go. Toss this shrimp right up along these rocks. If you've watched my videos prior, you know I love fishing over here. You never know what you're going to catch tarpon king mackerel they'll roll through here in the summer big jack creval will mm, there's finally a decent pulling fish wonder what this is gonna be i've been just getting bit off like crazy by pig fish and pin fish and now i finally have something nice on that's a pompano yeah that's what I'm talking about. We're gonna boat flip him. I think so. Got a pompano. Check out that nice slab of a pompano right there. These things only have to be 12 inches in the state of Alabama, and you're allowed three per person. These are very sought after and delicious fish. They have a nice buttery, white, flaky meat. These are awesome. He's gonna go on ice and see if we can get another one. It's time to get another shrimp out. I mean, y'all, I've been blowing through shrimp just because the pinfish are terrible this time of year and into the summer but these fish love to stack up here they're fun to catch on light tackle these size four kale hooks fit in a pompano's mouth perfect now if i'm using set rigs on the beach i'm mainly using 10 circles or 20 circles a lot of times out here and on a carolina rig i like this kale hook oh there's a good bite mm. all right fish on 
Oh, feels like a good one too. Let's hope it stays on. It's pretty bumpy right here, so. Let's hope it stays on. I think that's gonna be a pompano. I'm just moving along here, throwing the shrimp along these jetties. Looks like a pomp. No? What is that? Dang, Spanish mackerel? Bluefish? Hmm. Mmm, bluefish. I'm glad he didn't bite my leader off, because that's not what I'm after. These are definitely edible. They're not bad tasting. They have some serious teeth you gotta watch out for. Ooh, really serious teeth. Right, there you go, buddy. Well, bluefish and pompano today. That's not bad. Y'all, we're back home. I'm cleaned up a little bit. <laughs> I have my two pompano that I kept. That is awesome. So I just want to say first real quick, I will link down below. I actually have a merch shop open through a third party, but they make some pretty cool shirts and I'm wearing one of them right now. This is a performance Bama saltwater short sleeve. Also have some tumblers or cups different stuff on there y'all can go check it out it will be linked down below if you want to get some bama saltwater merch i know a lot of y'all been asking we're going to get into this pompano cleaning i'm actually keeping them whole i love eating pompano whole you waste hardly any meat keeping them like this versus filleting them pompano have a very buttery rich nice white fillet and what we're going to do is just dress it up we want to remove the innards cut down below all the way to the gills this is what we're going to take out of it. Are all these guts. Because you don't want to cook it with these things in. So let me do that and spray this out. And a lot of times I'll go remove these gills as well. So you can just pull these gills out. Usually in one motion you can get almost everything. And we'll spray this out and that fish will be practically ready to cook. Y'all, this is a couple days later after I filmed that. I didn't get around to cooking that pompano. I just kind of wanted to show you how I do it whole. We'll have a lot of chances to do some pompano cooking this year, so I like to kind of spread these videos out. This is Ono. Look at him, he's getting bigger. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed that video. That was a couple days of fishing on that last cold front that we had, and now we're into a lot nice warmer weather. But y'all, I appreciate you for watching. If you want to go check out the merch shop, like I said, it'll be linked down below. But we'll see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. And we'll see you later. Oh no, once you get down and go run. It's dark outside, oh no. Hey, say hi to the camera. All right, we're gone.